Um, first of all, uh, the trial was, so to say, uh, inspired by the results from this proactive trial, which was published 2005, and that answers some questions concerning pioclitazones and its benefits, but it's also raised a lot of questions, and those questions have been then addressed in several publications since 2005 up to today. And there are still some uh, open questions left. So since 2005, uh, there has been a lot of new studies addressing the questions which were raised by proactive uh, 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 study and which left uh, uh, unanswered in that study. And so uh, Tosca, uh, design was really initiated in 2007 and of course that was uh, at a time when there was completely different algorithm for the treatment of patients who had metformin but failed to maintain gl good glucose control because then you had the options either to use SUs or glitazones. So I think that the data from TOSCA trial really are still very timely and hot. First of all, I would say that it's very well conducted clinical trial. Uh, and uh, that is also reflected in the uh, patient care over there. But of course, the main outcome that is the cardiovascular endpoints uh, uh, the results over there was negative because there was no benefits favoring pioclitazone over sulfonylureas. But otherwise, the impact, for example, on glycemic control was clearly better than that by uh, sulfonylureas, and also there was less need for insulin treatment in pioclitazone group. Importantly, also in this trial, there was no significant weight gain as compared to sulfonylureas. And that is interesting because in the majority of previous trials there has been much more weight gain. And this indicates how well uh, the investigators did take care of the patients over there. I think it will have some impact, but of course much less now than if this would have been published, let's say, five years ago before we had these new breakthrough trials with SGLT2 and also uh, 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 GLP1 receptor agonist, which really are now coming up as a very important add-on therapy, even after metformin and not later stage. So I think uh, there is uh, important issues, but we should keep in mind that something that what that came out from Tosca trial is also that in Tosca trial, bioclitazone turned out to be very safe. And there was no excess of heart failure, no ex excess of bone fractures, and also no excess of any cancer, which has been concerned before. So I think that bioclitazone turned out to be tolerable if you pick up the right patients and that means also you exclude vulnerable patients and you have good evaluation of the subjects and good clinical care. And then it comes to the cost uh, uh, benefits. And of course, these new drugs are very uh, expensive and all countries in the world cannot use them. So there's still space for bioclitazone as add-on uh, to metformin also together with sulfonylureas as a comparator. Of course, I think that we should also have trials where, you know, um, both new, uh, new drugs, SGL, SGLT2 and uh, GLP1 receptor agonist are added on already after failure on metformin, so at an earlier phase. On the other hand, we do know that there is development going on where other uh, 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 glitazones, so there will be more specific PIPAR gamma activators and the future will show if those can then compete again with both metabolic benefits because 
Bioclitazone, for example, is the best insulin sensitizer that we have.